WBUR Podcasts, Boston. I'm Daryl C. Murphy, and you're listening to The Common. We are still hard at work on making the transition to a new weekly version of The Common due to launch this summer. While we work on that, we're bringing you some shows from our archives to hold you over. This episode, we talk to the singer-songwriter behind our theme music, Hisu, WBUR's 2021 Tiny Desk concert favorite and a Berkeley College of Music alum. Hisu joined us to talk about her music, her influences, and her experiences studying music in Boston. Check it out. Hisu, thank you so much for coming through to the comments. Hi, Daryl. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I love that you're here. The song is dope. Thank you so much for taking the time. So excited to be talking with you right now. And so let's get into it and let's talk about this song. We're going to play a little bit of the original version with the lyrics. What I find really interesting is that this song is in both English and Korean. Um, and the portion of the song we heard was just in Korean. Can, mm. can you tell us about what you're singing here? Yeah, of course. So I'm saying um, basically the summary is like, I just want to focus on myself and I want to get to mm-hmm. know myself better. Mm-hmm. Right, because, you know, the title of the song is me. Of course, me. You're, yeah. you're, you're taking a break from all the foolishness of dating and you're right. zeroing in on you and your needs. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so with the song being in English and Korean, right, why did you choose to split it up mm, that way? That's a good question. So basically the English part is like, you know, I'm explaining like all my feelings, you know, what happened in the past. I was busy dating people, now I'm caught up in my motion. Spending too much time on players who are not devoted. Today I'm looking back to my And of course, you know, like Korean audience, some of them might understand the lyrics, the verse, but some of them don't. Mm-hmm. And that's why I wrote the chorus in Korean, because that's basically the summary of the whole song. Also, I wanted to write the chorus, you know, the most important part, the hook in Korean, because I really wanted to just, you know, connect with my Korean roots and, yeah, my Korean audience, too. And, yeah, like, what kind of response have you been getting from listeners? Because I I think it's dope. I I really think that's fresh. Yeah, a lot of my, like, American audience, even though, like, they don't know what I'm saying, (laughs) what I'm singing... They can still hum it, and I I can tell they're happy, they're enjoying, and that makes me happy. Yeah, 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 listen, I probably ran that song back like a hundred (laughs) times. So, (laughs) my favorite part is the do 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 like that. It's yeah, it's groovy. Hence, why we're here today. Right, the band (laughs) version. Yes, because I have two versions. One is like electronic, and one is like the chill neo soul Levi band version. When I hear your songs, I am hearing this like electronic, dancey vibe, you know, little soul going on in there. Tell me about the kinds of music that inspire and influence your your work. Yeah, so I am influenced by so many different genres. I enjoy listening to R&B, to pop, fusion, neo soul, jazz, even classical, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. And growing up in Korea, of course, K-pop was so big <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in my life and also pop music was, you know, very accessible. But then after so I moved to states uh when I was like 13, I was an international student and so in the States, that's where I discovered all these like electronic music, uh, specifically like um, 
artists such as like Banks, you know, FKA Twigs, that like those people really influenced me. I was like, wow, like you can make music like this. I think that's uh, how like my interest in like electronic music started. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, after I got into Berkeley, I met so many artists from all around the world and they introduced me you know music from their country and tell us more about how the city influenced your your music journey yeah so berkeley college of music you know is a very fun place it's like a playground you know you meet all kinds of crazy people crazy talented and you know through networking with you know amazing musicians like them they would share some cool music with me and then i'll share something cool that i'm listening to and Mm -hmm. you make a playlist and um like share with your peers and that was a very cool experience because i think i've discovered you know so many cool artists that's how it is right that's kind of part of the college Mm -hmm. experience i think back to uh you know when i was in college being exposed to so many different different types of music that I did not really grow up with, at least not that intensely, you know? So that's that's awesome. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. Politics has never been stranger or more online. Which is why the politics team at Wired is making a new show, Wired Politics Lab. It's all about how to navigate the endless stream of news and information and what to look out for. Each week on the show, we'll dig into far-right platforms, AI chatbots, influencer campaigns, and so much more. Wired Politics Lab launches Thursday, April 11th. Follow the show wherever you get your podcasts. And we're back. So coming back to me, um, the song, you submitted that for uh, NPR's Tiny Desk competition back in 2021, right? Right, yes. And WBUR liked it so much that we decided to have you perform it at City Space. So here's a clip from that performance. So, Hisu, tell us, how was that experience, performing at City Space? It was such a beautiful experience. I had so much fun. The the energy was everything. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is it me? Is it you? Is it me? Ready? Is it me? Is it you? Is it me? I can't hear you! Is it me? Is it you? Is it me? Is it I could see, you know, everyone's like smiling and they were just, you know, dancing and vibing. They were just having so much fun. I had so much fun because because it was like during the pandemic, pandemic, right? And there was no like live performance opportunity. Right. I remember everyone was wearing masks, you know, masked up. And so I really missed the energy. You know, I missed that like human energy, like the interactions and... Oh, it it just gave me so much joy. I was, after that show, I was so happy. So Hisu, you got a new song out called Chung San. Um, Let's hear that real quick. So what's the story behind that song? So Cheongsan is a 13th century Korean poem. It's about acceptance and letting go. And my mom shared this poem with me when I visited Korea. And that inspired me to make it into a song and share these beautiful words to the world. (laughs) So that's how everything started. Mm-hmm. And I uh, co-produced with this Korean producer called Averzi. And yeah, we really wanted to make something 
that's super Korean. <laughs> so we only use traditional Korean instruments. And yeah, and then my melody was in, um, inspired by uh, traditional like Korean folk songs. Mm -hmm. So it was very fun to write. And also, so after I moved to New York, I've seen, you know, so many Asian hate crimes like on the news. And that was just very like painful to, you know, watch and hear about it. And I, during that difficult time, I really wanted to release uh, something that really, you know, embrace my my heritage, my culture, and then also, you know, radiate like positive energy to the community. Right, you're embracing your culture. Yes, sharing right. your culture, and and telling people, you know, let's celebrate each other. Let's stop being hateful. Let's start being loving. Let's have a good time with each other. Let's yeah, let go of that negativity and embrace the positive. You know, right and. And, you know, just my hope is that, you know, by, like, sharing my art, you know, I can, like, proudly show, you know, what Korea looks like. All right. All right, folks, make sure you go check that out. Um, and so, Hisu, since graduating Berkeley, yeah, you've left us here in Boston. You've moved to New York. <laughs> no. Any plans of uh, yeah. coming back to Boston someday? Maybe for a show, you know? I don't know. Maybe you'll move back. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, I can come back and do a show again, you know, at the city space. I, yeah, I love that space. All right. All right. Well, Hisu, oh, man, this has been awesome. Amazing. Uh, the song is great. Your music is great. We really wish you all the best of luck and definitely hope to talk to you again, you know. Keep keep us up to date with what you got going on. Thank you, Daryl, for having me today. And happy API Heritage Month, everyone. Love you. Yay. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Big shouts. Cheers to that. And that's our show. Thank you so much for listening to The Common and now it's that time for me to let you know that The Common is produced by Caitlin Harrop and Franny Monahan. It's mixed by Emily Jankowski, Matt Reed, and Paul Veitkus. And it's edited by Samatha Joshi and Ben Brock Johnson. And our theme music is Me by Hisu. And from the newsroom of WBUR, I'm your host, Daryl C. Murphy. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>